<laughs> Grateful for deodorant. <laughs> I love this song. It's really good. What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Today's video, I'm very, very, very proud to say, is sponsored by the Self Journal. And this journal is a productivity, positivity, empowerment journal. And it's something that I started using a couple of months ago. Brian found it and he got one and I was like, I need this thing. And I wanted to show you guys how I use it today and how it helps me organize my day, but not only organize my day, it structures it with like positivity, gratitude, and I have had planners forever. I am very much a planning type of person. In college, I planned out like literally every single minute of my day, and I've been trying to find something that really works for me, and that's not only organized, but it doesn't make me feel messy, and I actually remember to look at it. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit about how I use it. So I start off with writing out how my day is gonna be structured. So it has this part in the journal where it's just telling you like what times of the day it is. And I like to just block out pieces of the day based on what I'm doing. So I have my morning routine, which is usually like wake up, drink a coffee, read a book potentially, um, fill out this journal. This is like part of my morning routine now and fill out what my day looks like, um, write down my daily gratitude stuff, which is already built in here, which is awesome. And I like to make sure I do this in the morning. So I'll say this morning I wrote, this morning I'm grateful for my amazing boyfriend, the restful night's sleep that I got last night, and the palm trees and weather in LA. Whether it's like something stupid or something serious that happened that day, literally just writing down a couple things you're grateful for will change your perspective on the whole day first thing in the morning. And then I organize my day and then if there's any like to-do stuff that's kind of just like ruminating in the air that you might forget about, I like to put it in the notes and ideas section over here. So talk about the Pencils of Promise live event, which is exciting. Maybe I should just talk about that now since I've written it down. We do have a live event for our campaign with Pencils of Promise, which we're so excited about. Brendan, Karen, Brian, and I are doing a fundraiser for Pencils of Promise. If you guys haven't heard on my Instagram or YouTube or watched that video that I posted, it's a fundraiser to help children get a school that they wouldn't otherwise have in either Laos, Guatemala, or Ghana. We're doing a fundraiser. We've already raised $20,000. Our goal is 50. And this fundraiser will help give them not only the school infrastructure, but teachers, sanitation, hygiene, clean water, all of that stuff, all incorporated in it. And we're doing a live event in LA and all the details are below, but it's on November 7th. So it's a couple weeks away. If you guys live in LA, I would literally love to see you there so much. It's at a, an awesome bar, it's a sports bar, there's food and drinks, there's gonna be a silent auction, might be some special guests, who knows, we're trying to get a certain amount of people to come. Um, so if you live in LA, please, please, please come. I would love to see you there. So talk about that, it was on my to-do list, so I can check that off. A couple of other things, and then just PS, get your nails done if anyone noticed do that. I'm sure someone's going to comment on the video, like, don't show us your gross nails, but whatever. I wrote it down. It has like your goals and your targets for today. The number one thing I think people do, and I used to do this all the time when they struggle with organizing their day and structuring what they're doing is that they have a million targets for the day and they have a to-do list of 20 things. So the biggest thing for me that helped me was have three main targets of what I want to accomplish today. So it says, what will make today win for you? And I love that lettering. So a couple of things for me that would make it a win, minimize tension and the feeling of rushing. So decreasing anxiety, staying present in the moment, which is something I wanna make sure I target and focus on today. It'll make today a win for me and feeling confident in this week's accomplishments to move forward into a nice restful weekend. So those are my main targets. Sometimes they're kind of arbitrary like that, or sometimes they're like, get this shit done type of targets. And then there's also goals for the day. So provide massive value at the speaking event that I'm doing today, get some ticket sales for the Pencils of Promise live event, and have a productive yet chill Friday. So today's a Friday. And then my other favorite thing is that it has a quote in here. So there's today's quote is, it's not about ideas, it's about making ideas happen by Scott Bilski. 
And I love that. It's just like a nice little reminder of what you're supposed to focus on. And then there's also a couple of other features in the, in the beginning of the book. So it'll give you actually a 13 week rundown of like 13 week goals. So if you have goals for the next three months, it'll actually organize it for you where what habits and activities do you need to reach that goal on a scale of one to 10? How happy were you this week and why? What were your three biggest wins for the week? and then review your goal and assess your progress. So it's really keeping you accountable on what your biggest goals are. And this is the best journal that I have seen for my productivity and for positivity and overall goal reaching and goal orientation. So I highly recommend getting this book. You guys can get it from the link down below in the description box. It's super awesome. Um, so I highly recommend getting it and we're going to go ahead and just start the day and I'll show you guys exactly what I did in this book today and keep my day organized. Breakfast is like literally the same thing you see me eat in probably every YouTube video. Oatmeal, protein, and whatever fruit that we have currently. It doesn't look like a whole lot. There's usually blueberries in here, but... Aw, oh, we're like out of fruit. I put some apple in there, potentially. Yeah, I'll put some apple in there. First, we cook the oatmeal in the microwave. I usually put the vegan protein powder in my oatmeal. I've been doing this lately. I do like it, but I like the vegan better, but we were out of stock for a while. But I did order some new ones because PE Science is back in stock with vegan protein, PSA, just so you know. Discount code is Amanda. Just so you guys know, it is back in stock, which I'm excited about. We really cut up like half of this. not a professional apple chopper. Mm. Let's just say that. I'm just gonna go in the same spot in my stomach. Just fine. I despise when food is way too hot to even taste it, so do the ice cubes. Do some of this. That's about like one serving of this stuff. I'll probably have like one and a half. to the speaking event. Yay! That's it. Fuel though. Mm-hmm. Really good. <laughs> so today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about building a massive brand. Does that resonate for anybody that they wanna build a brand? That's really great. Woo! Yeah. Woo! My message that I want to share with you guys today is that when you build a powerful, large brand, people resonate and identify with your message. I didn't really know that much about social media, but what I found when I got on there was that there was this community of people that were so amazing and so supportive. And I got to make a million friends on social media. <laughs> and all of you guys have got to connect with. Um, but yeah, these people were doing the same thing as I was, and I was really happy and excited, so I got to share. I remember specifically a time after my second competition prep, I remember specifically after that second competition prep, I started binge eating. And it was to a point where I was hiding things from people around me, um, I was sucking my face to, the face to the point of sickness, feeling really, really out of control with my eating habits, and I remember being really, really terrified to share that. And it was really vulnerable. You guys learn about vulnerability all the time in the WCA. I am sure it certainly talks about that a thousand times. Be vulnerable, be open. The scariest thing to talk about is what you're supposed to talk about. And I did it. Flooded with messages, flooded with comments. Everything was so positive. And that was the exact moment that I felt like sharing my story was important. So I started sharing. I made the series called That Prep Life. Has anybody watched it? No. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's cool. But I wanted to make it different in that I showed everything. It wasn't just the highlight reel, it wasn't just what people were talking about, what, like all the cool and fun things like, yay, I'm getting leaner, I'm losing fat, these are my numbers, blah, blah, blah. It was like the nitty gritty of everything. And trust me, there was nitty gritty because it wasn't easy for me. Every single time I learned something, I had a platform to teach it. I remember seeing this lady come up um, on the other side of me and I was like, what is she doing? Why is she running a red light? The airbag, airbag deployed and it hurt my wrist. And I remember just like holding my wrist like, oh, this kind of hurts or whatever. And my friends uh, came to meet me at the hospital. And I specifically remember telling one of my friends like, all I want is my fucking Froyo. <laughs> <laughs> they were excited to see something 
someone persevering through a struggle that they're currently going through. I got the cast off, and I had my camera with me, obviously, and I recorded it. And I remember when I got in my car after I got the cast off, and when I was recording the clip telling people, like, I'm so excited I got my cast off, I started crying. And I started like bawling actually. And by the time the video came out, people felt like they went through the journey with me. And they felt like they were like I got comments like, I just cried too, because I felt like I went and watched you go through the struggle and I felt it. And I felt the struggle that you were going through. And I'm not an expert. I am not the smartest person in the whole entire world. I am not perfect. Um, I show people that constantly. I am constantly vulnerable, constantly open, constantly honest. People can trust what I have to say because I'm not making shit up, I'm not lying, I'm being open, and that's what it's all about. So that's my message for you guys today, and I encourage you all to go off and take people through a journey that you're going through now so you can have a lasting, massive brand.
Alright y'all, it is the end of the night. Um, I loved talking to you guys today about my productivity and the journal that I use. I know that's like a super big struggle for so many people when it was for me for such a long time, organizing my day, not feeling frazzled, not feeling like I'm off track, not feeling like I have a thousand things to do, don't know when I'm going to get them all done. There needs to be double the hours in the day. But having something to keep you on track like that is so freaking helpful. You have no idea how helpful it is. You have no idea. But just in general, I hope that you guys can take this video and figure out better ways to keep your organization on track, whether it's this journal, this journal or something else. Regardless, link is in the description box if you wanted to purchase that. But aside from that, um, I did want to let you guys know that I am taking a slight hiatus from YouTube for the time being. Not anything too drastic over here. I'm still going to be making videos here and there, but I'm not committing to how many or when they will be posted. If you would like to see my videos, turn my post notifications on. Um, I will post when I can and when it feels good to me to pick up the camera. Um, it's just transitioning that I'm going through. I still know that there's plenty of things I want to talk to you guys about in terms of my own personal development, self-growth, self-growth journey. And I'm very, very grateful for having this experience and going through it and having you guys by my side while I do. I super appreciate it. Um, and I appreciate your patience and your love. I just love you guys. I can feel the love through the screen. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next video whenever that happens to be. Whatever that is. Whenever it is. I don't know when, but thank you guys so much. Um, I will love you and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Mwah.